I Feel Pretty. This movie stars Amy Schumer, Michelle Williams, Emily Ratajkowski, as well as some others, and it follows the story of Amy Schumer's character has a fall when she's on in a in a spin class, and she wakes up and sees herself in a different body, in a different sense of the word. Whether it is what she thinks, what she sees as beautiful has changed, or if she sees herself as skinny, we don't know. They never confirm that, which really annoys me, but basically she sees herself in a different light, and she's gone from this unconfident you know, really feeling bad about her body to this overconfident, feeling like she's the best in the world. And it follows that story. So it's basically Charlotte Howell, but kind of reversed. That's the first thing I wonder when I'm seeing this movie. I'm like, is this not the Charlotte Howell, but like from the girl's perspective? Whatever. But this movie, I mean, it's Amy Schumer. So we, I was never expecting big things. Saying that, I think... Trainwreck, I actually did enjoy, so I have a liked an Amy Schumer movie before, but the movie Snatched I saw last year was awful, and then I saw the trailer for this one, I was like, okay, this does not look anywhere near as bad as Snatched, and it wasn't. This movie, by no means, is a, is a fantastic film, but it isn't awful. I mean, it's got a 3.8 on IMDb, which I think it's just pretty much just the hate for Amy Schumer, which I, I'm one for her going out and never coming back, but she, she's probably the worst part of that as well, from my, from my opinion. As a main character, after she gets this change, she becomes quite annoying on screen, and I really didn't like that. I, I found her really just arrogant and annoying to watch on screen, whereas the side characters, Michelle Williams' character's quite funny, even with his weird voice, you'll understand. Um, I like the, the boyfriend character they bring in and the side stuff going on there. And I did like the side stuff. Mason, another character you'll understand if you the movie. Some of the side stuff was actually enjoyable. And the, the movie doesn't make you laugh a hell of a lot. But I was actually kind of invested. Not invested, but I wasn't hating the story. I was like, okay, this story makes sense. Saying that, though, Amy Schumer's character was annoying to watch. And again, it did not make me laugh in, you know, much. I got a few chuckles usually were not from Amy Schumer, but, it, I mean, it wasn't a bad a snatch, I'm, that's all I'm going to say, this movie isn't awful, I think a lot of girls and comedians, like, girls that like comedies and dumb comedies can go ahead and have fun with this movie, because I think it is not terrible, but by no means is this a, a fantastic comedy, no means by it's a fantastic movie, and at no means has a great lead, if I can see Amy Schumer out of this movie. Maybe we like Melissa McCarthy, who I'm not even a bigger fan of, but maybe with her in this movie, it would have been a bit better for me. And I'm, I'm saying that, I'm not even a huge, yeah, as I said, I'm not a huge Melissa McCarthy fan, but I just do not like Amy Schumer. I refuse to watch her stand up. She stole so many jokes and she was awful in Snatch. Snatch was an awful movie and I'm pretty much done with her. I mean, I'll keep Train Wreck close to heart because I really enjoyed that film, but God, everything else is, is terrible. This movie was just a lackluster comedy. It wasn't an awful comedy, but it was a it was a lackluster comedy. Like that's it guys. I'm giving this movie a C minus. With movies like this, it's hard to really expand and talk about a lot because it's just so basic. Did it make me laugh? Did I care about the characters? And no kinda. So there's something, as I said, if maybe you are like Amy Schumer, I think you probably enjoy this movie. I think there was a few people in the cinema that were, were having a good time, but personally, it's not for me. Thank you guys for watching this review. Check out my rest of my videos. It is not too late to check out my 100 sub videos and get a vote in there. Like, comment, but of course, guys, have a good one.